welcome back to another video my name is Charlene if you're new to this channel I welcome you here I talk mainly about fragrances lifestyle and tea and today's video is a video I'm really excited to film because I will be going through some of my favorite fragrance notes with you guys so I have about five fragrances here that all have the note of tonka in these perfumes and I think this is the best time to start wearing tonka fragrances because now it's all about those heavy gamons. So I'm going to start off with the very first perfume and I have here my Poison Girl EDT. This fragrance is your honeyed sugary tonka fragrance. We have some caramel notes in here but what I love about this perfume even though this is your densely sweet nutty fragrance you have frosted orange in here you have lemon and some mandarin orange in the top notes it opens up with the citrus burst but then it dries down to this sweet caramel vanilla tonka bean fragrance in the heart of this perfume there is some orange blossom and some rose and this is gorgeous i receive a lot of compliments when i wear this and i think this performs quite well even for an edt i don't mind spraying this several times throughout the day but i do get about six to seven hours wear of this one because i do over spray this perfume this is gorgeous for your tonka bean if you want a tonka that's not too bitter not too dense and heavy and you want something that's sweet and light a little bit fruity then i go for this one my poison girl the next fragrance i have is my black perfecto and this is by guerlain we have a rose licorice leather tonka bean in this perfume and there's some cherry in here this is quite unique guys it's quite deep a little bit mysterious a little bit edgy so that's my black perfecto this is a nice tonka bean you can wear because it does have some cherry in here as well so it has a bit of like this tart but sweet note to it so that's black perfecto the next fragrance i have is my Umbois Vini. this is by serge Lutons. this has notes of tonka in here and some coconut it's creamy it's a bit spicy we have cardamom in here so it has a spicy edge and this is gorgeous. This to me is my perfect Christmas day scent. It's just so spicy and creamy with that tonka note. It's lovely. Really nice fragrance to wear. I think this performs quite well. Um, for me, again, like I said, this is my winter scent, something I would wear mainly in the evenings as well. The next perfume I have is my Hypnotic Poison and this is my EDP version. Now this fragrance is quite interesting to me because you have, everyone knows the original, the Eau de Toilette version, which is like in a small red bottle and check out my video. But this one is really interesting because this one to me is almost like a different fragrance compared to your um, EDT version. This is much darker, it's dense, it's heavy, a little bit more bitter. In the top notes, you do receive licorice almonds in here. There's jasmine, orange blossom, vanilla, and tonka bean. To me, I get that vanilla tonka bean note, and it's very dark, mysterious, dense. It's an evening scent for sure. I find it to have this almost like burnt sugar sweetness to it. It's not a sugary sweet, but it's like a burnt sugar sweet. This one I would recommend to wear in the evenings, and I think this fragrance could be almost quite masculine as well. It's got that depth to it. This is your very dark tonka bean fragrance, so that's my Hypnotic Poison Eau de Parfum. Now guys, I am excited to share this perfume with you because it's my Tonka Imperial by Guerlain. Now, when I tried this fragrance, it was love at first sniff, guys. It has this almost caramel butterscotch quality about it. You do get that nutty note of tonka. It does remind you a little bit of an almond tonka bean mix. Um, but yes, it's like butterscotch, it's caramelized, it's really nutty, a little bit woody as well. And in the opening of this fragrance, we do have the bergamot, we have rosemary, we have jasmine, tonka bean, tobacco, and we have frankincense, cedar, and pine wood. So like I said, it's very woody. Oh guys, it's such a nice perfume to wear if you love tonka fragrances. To me, this is like your true tonka perfume. Um, it's 
a little bit on the bitter side i think in the opening it's soft and on the dry down it dries to this very deep duck tonka but it's a wearable tonka and it is still quite softened because there is a little bit of almond in here in the opening as well so it has this creamy edge this is a perfume you can dress up quite nicely i would wear this to an evening out um you know a special event or an occasion i think for me this is more of your evening scent and i receive compliments for this perfume and it warms up really nicely on your skin really nice this one so that's my tonka imperial i'm excited to announce my very last fragrance for you because this is the perfume if you only had to pick one fragrance that was a tonka fragrance it's this one it's my feb delicious and this is by christian dior oh wow 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 this is your sweet honey drenched rich tonka bean it is creamy it is a little bit smoky it's a little bit woody it's cherry it is lavender it is so many different things guys this is a beautiful chocolatey tonka fragrance and i'm going to remind you of some of the notes in here i love this perfume i normally wear this I would say definitely now, fall, winter, it's a Christmassy scent, it just has that vibe. And the notes in this perfume, we do have a lavender, mint and bergamot. In the heart you have cherry, freesia, jasmine. And in the base guys, which is my favourite, all these notes are amazing. We have tonka, vanilla, caramel, dark chocolate. We have benzoin, coconut, leather, sandalwood and cedar. These are like all my notes. I love the coconut, I love cedar, sandal, tonka bean, vanilla, guys. This is an explosion, an explosion of notes. And Christian Dior got this fragrance right, I love it. And between this and Tonka Imperial, many people try to battle these two fragrances out and I see why, because they're great fragrances. It's this one, Tonka Imperial by Guerlain and Feb Delicious by Christian Dior. Um, I think these two are the top Tonka fragrances within my collection. I do love this one because I find this to be chocolatey, it's sweet, and every single person I know that's tried this fragrance, they just fall in love with it, and you can see why. You must try out Feb Delicious. It's one of my favorite Tonka bean and winter fragrances. Um, but yeah, those are all my Tonka fragrances, guys. Let me know what is missing off of my list. I would love to know what your favorites are and if we have any fragrances in common, I just love finding that out. Um, so yes, let me know what is your favorite Tonka Bean fragrance. And darlings, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to share with you more of my favorite notes. So I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful evening, guys. Bye.